Carter Lodge. And I'm Federico Macari, and we're doing our project on the invasive species, the hemlock, only a delta, right behind us. The Appalachian Mountains is home to so many different types of species and trees, but we'll be focusing in on one today. Eastern hemlock is a really dense and evergreen tree. Due to its natural characteristics, it can offer cover to animals during harsh weather conditions. The tree can also be found along creeks, which provide cool water temperature and shade, which benefits fish like trout. Unfortunately, it won't always look like this. Now the condition of that tree is almost impossible to find in the natural world. Its beauty is not something commonly seen today. Hemlocks can be located in Appalachians, old growth forests, cove forests, and hemlock forests. In this video, we are walking through an old growth hemlock forest. And the forest looks bleak and discolored, as we can see here. Hemlock woolly adelgid is an Asian invasive pest that latches and feeds on the eastern hemlock trees. This species can end the lives of the hemlocks just in a few years. This photo was taken by NC State through their microscopes. It's around 0.8 millimeters. Woolly adelgid attaches to the branch and feeds on the base of the needles, extracting the vital nutrients and sap from the trees. The parasite leaves a woolly and waxy secretion where eggs will be laid next. Parasites migrate actively or passively to infest new trees. The parasite was moved by humans by importing it from Japan through a nursery stock that was unknowingly infested. It was first spotted in the 1950s in Richmond, Virginia. It is now spread all throughout the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic regions of the U.S. and Southern Appalachians, appearing in over 20 states. Although Asian hemlocks have built up a generational resistance to the pathogen, American Eastern hemlocks have not. <laughs> Some signs and symptoms of the woolly adelgia that we can see here are these white woolly sacs at the base of the needles, needle loss, and discoloration of the tree, which is very evident here. Death of branches also occurs, and the tree can die in four to 15 years. It is important to control the spread of this pest to reduce its impact on the ecosystem and preserve vegetation. Chemical and biological treatments such as insecticides and importation of natural predators are the most used techniques. Although it is hard to manage and control woolly adelgid in old forests due to its huge economic burdens or without altering its ecosystem, treatments can be effective on singular species like this hemlock tree on the back quad. Impacts of losing the woolly adelgid on eastern hemlocks can lead to pretty drastic forest changes, leading to increased erosion, loss of winter cover for native animals, reduced shading of streams for fish and other aquatic animals, reduced food sources, increased heating and cooling costs in our residential areas, and others impacting both our residential and our forest areas. Go out and see this beautiful tree before it's too late. It is important to understand the consequences of invasive species in our ecosystems. They can completely change the dynamics of our forests and neighborhoods, which end up impacting the animals that live within them.